Hello everybody, I'm Crystal and welcome back to my channel, My Social Thread. To all my new viewers, hello, and to all my returning viewers, thank you very much for coming back. So today's vlog is going to be all about the hashtag so frugal 22 challenge. I am over, I'm one of over 70 uh, vloggers um, giving you inspiration on how to approach this challenge. So basic uh, quick rules, I'm sure you've heard it all before. Um, so Frugal 22 Challenge is hosted by um, Sam of Frugalissima and Ruan of the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And the basic rules are, you need to choose a free pattern that is available worldwide. So a PDF pattern that can be downloaded. Uh, and also you need to choose a fabric from your stash to make, that, um, to make up that pattern. Um, all the makes will then need to be posted under the hashtag on the 30th of April. And there are lots of prizes to be won by some amazing sponsors. Uh, firstly, um, I just thought I'd say, because most of my viewers normally ask, what I'm wearing today is a Tilly and the Buttons Billy sweatshirt with the normal shoulders, but the uh, balloon cuffs. And it's in a floral French terry and matching uh, ribbing by Jelly Fabrics. So back to the challenge. Um, I thought I'd do something slightly different um, from everybody else that I've seen so far. To be fair, I am a week behind on the vlogs, but I will catch up. Um, what I've decided to do is to choose a garment or ensemble from a TV series or movie. And then I have found a ready to wear item um, that is similar to, to that garment. Uh, and then I've also found obviously a free pattern uh, that can be used to recreate this look. So first of all, um, my first garment is from the Amazon Prime um, series, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And I am going to be popping up pictures side by side. So my face will be covered for a while, but I'm sure you'll be fine with that. So the first photo up here is, the, is Mrs. Maisel herself in her signature black satin dress with the bows at the shoulders. It's a fitted princess seamed bodice and a flared skirt. Uh, the second picture that I'm posting up is a ready-to-wear version that I found. It's a Ted Baker dress from John Lewis. Again, it's got the bows at the um, shoulders. It's got the fitted bodice, although there are no princess seams in this one. And then it's the flared skirt. And the third picture I'm going to pop up is the free pattern uh, by uh, Mood Society, which is an exact replica, in fact, of the Mrs. Maisel dress. So much so that they've called it the Mrs. Maisel dress. <laughs> Um, I have also decided to uh, pair this with a blouse um, so I will be popping up some pictures of um, blouses uh, from the same show so the first one is a Mrs Maisel wearing uh, essentially it's a, it's a pussy bow blouse but the bow is slightly more bow tie in her version and the second picture that I'm popping up is of a pussy bow blouse which is readily available all over the place. Just type in pussy bow blouse um, on Google and lots and lots of um, these will come up. And the third one is the Onella blouse top from, again, Mood Society. Um, and it's the pussy bow blouse with the um, bishop sleeves and the deep cuff. And I thought those two would go quite nicely together. I personally would wear it with the blouse underneath the dress. And I think it, it, it does look like a, it would look like a lovely, lovely outfit. So back to the fabrics that I am going to um, pair those patterns with. Uh, my first, so I've gone for two different looks. I've gone for a formal look and a casual look for this dress and blouse combo. And the first one is this um, burgundy suiting fabric that I got from the textile center a good four years ago now, probably even more. I don't know if you can see the twill texture there. So it's a burgundy suiting fabric. It feels like it's, I mean, it's got the woolly texture, but I don't think it's got any wool in it. Um, and then you've got sort of the black um, tartan stripes. You've got black, burgundy, and like an ochre color there. And I think that would be, look really lovely in the Mrs. Maisel dress. And then to go with that, a simple pussy bow blouse, a simple Onella blouse in the black to pick up the black stripes. Uh, and this is just a, a inexpensive viscose fabric from Pound Fabrics, uh, which I bought, um, this is quite recent, probably a couple of months ago. So I thought that would look very nice for sort of 
um, office, an, an office um, outfit or somewhere formal like a business meeting maybe with black tights and some heels. Um, and I thought, um, so that's my um, first choice of fabric. And then for a more casual look, I thought um, if you made the Mrs. Maisel dress in a lovely chambray. So this is sort of a mid blue chambray. And uh, I bought this uh, from Minerva Crafts a while ago now. So I thought the Mrs. Maisel dress would look lovely in that. And then underneath the Anella blouse, um, I would make up in this beautiful Liberty cotton lawn. Um, and again, I bought this probably about three years ago during their summer sale. I've never bought from Liberty before, but it's a beautiful, I don't know if you can hear that, silky, beautiful draped cotton lawn. And I thought those two together would look lovely. Um, and I would personally pair that with um, some flat um, some flat trainers, like a pair of Converse. And I think it would be a lovely um, um, casual outfit, but still put together and still look like you've made a bit, a bit of an effort. So the second outfit that I have found is from the movie The Little Women. And the first photo that's going to pop up is of Amy March wearing a beautiful mandarin collar white shirt. Um, with a sort of pinafore apron sort of dress on top and then the ready to wear garment that I have found is from a shop called the Little Women Atelier and as you can see it's a very similar sort of apron pinafore dress on top with a blouse underneath and um, this one has got a Peter Pan collar but you can easily I mean it's not the same thing but it's a similar similar style and then the free pattern that I found is again from the Mood Society website and the dress I have found is the Heather, Heather dress and if you look at that it is sort of like an apron style pinafore um, and it's the maxi version um, but it has got the frills on the side which can easily be omitted and the neckline can easily be lowered as well to create sort of that apron pinafore dress look. In terms of the blouse, uh, the um, pattern that I found is again on Moo Society and it's called the Melia blouse. And if I show you the line drawings, you can see that it's got, it's a lovely button down shirt uh, with um, sort of a balloony uh, puffed area on the forearm, which I think is lovely and very in keeping with this sort of look. Um, and to cre recreate this look, you would have to obviously get rid of the collar and just leave the collar stand and you would um, be able to create the look of Amy March. Excellent. So the fabric I thought um, would uh, go nicely with it for this garment. I, again, I have chosen two options. The first option is actually really beautiful. They're both in a cotton linen mix and they're both from Minerva and they actually match really, really nicely. It's, it's as if I bought them together for this particular outfit, but I did buy these um, fabrics on separate occasions. So the first one is this... Um, lovely mauvey lilac cotton linen mix it's got the lovely slub texture there so it's basically like a pinky lilac fabric and i th think that would look so beautiful in the uh, what is it called the melia blouse um and to go on top for the pinafore apron dress i've got this beautiful linen cotton mix gingham again it's in a lilac-y mauvey color although depending on the light it kind of looks like a bit like a taupe co color as well but i think those two together are a match made in heaven i hope you agree uh, so the colors complement they're not the same shade of lilac -y, uh, of lilac uh, but they complement each other so well and i think that would look so beautiful as the media blouse and the heather dress to recreate that little women um outfit from the movie and the second um, choice of, of fabric uh, for this outfit I thought would work nicely would be this gingham from Sew Me Sunshine. It's in the mustard double gauze um, and this is the one where you've got one side is the, the small um, smaller gingham scale and the opposite side the other side is the larger gingham scale so i thought that would work quite nicely i'm not sure if i would go for the bigger squares i think i might go for the smaller squares uh for the heather dress or so the front apron dress and then underneath that for the melia blouse i've just got some leftover 
it's like a beige linen look fabric but it's like a viscose it's probably like a poly mix inexpensive and this was from colville fabrics um from facebook on facebook so i thought those two together would work quite nicely as well let me just hold it up Uh, so you've got the small uh, mustard gingham and then the beige linen look uh, poly viscose there. So the third outfit I'd like to show you is from the uh, Netflix uh, series The Queen's Gambit. And the first photo that's going to pop up is of Beth Harmon herself wearing a pinafore and a white collared shirt underneath. The second photo is a ready to wear item and it's from Warehouse um, showing a, a cord pinafore with a floral shirt underneath which I thought looked quite nice um, and similar to, to the first picture. And the third uh, picture coming up now is of the free pattern again from Mood Society and it's an exact replica uh, of the um, Queen's Gambit dress and they've called it the Queen's Gambit dress. <laughs> so there you go. Um, with regard to the fabric, again, I have chosen two different um, combinations of fabric. Uh, the first one I decided to go for is sort of a more um muted look i suppose you would say uh maybe a more casual look and it's um i've got this caramel cord um which if you've watched my previous vlogs um this is from Somi sunshine and i've made a um camden skirt in this before and i think that would look really lovely as the pinafore as the pinafore dress and then underneath i thought i would uh, make a lovely floral shirt in this fabric and it's a beautiful cotton lawn from Lady McElroy and it's sort of got like a dusky green background and sort of corally pink hydrangeas on there that's just gorgeous uh, and together I'll show you the fabrics together I think that would look quite nicely that would go quite nicely together and then the second one, uh, which um, is a bit more bold, a bit more out there. I'm not sure if anybody's brave enough to wear it. Um, I might be tempted to wear it. Uh, again, it's um, cord um, and it's this fabric here. Again, for those of you that have watched my previous vlogs, this was my haul from Lady McElroy, um, their Christmas sale. And it's a beautiful um, uh, needle cord in a goldy mustard background with sort of... Um, beigey brownie roses and some green green leaves in there and I think that would make the beautiful pinafore dress and to go underneath I would make the shirt in this lovely crepe that I have here and it's in a green to pick out the green of the leaves and this fabric here is from um, the fabric godmother which I bought quite a while ago and I think together that would be quite nice. So you've got sort of a stiffer, more structured um, pinafore dress. And then obviously you've got the f floaty crepe in a shirt uh, for the shirt. Um, obviously it's, it is quite floaty, so it would need some stiff interfacing for the collar for that to stand up. So those are my ideas for the So Frugal 22 challenge taken from uh, movie inspirations or slash TV um, inspirations and also ready to wear inspirations as well. I hope you enjoyed that. And just to say that I will be making one or two of the garments as my own uh, So Frugal 22 entry, um, but not necessarily in the order that I've described them. So I could choose the Mrs. Maisel dress and pair it with Amelia blouse or I could choose the Queen's Gambit pinafore and pair it with the Onella blouse. So I wonder whether or not you can guess um, which uh, garment I'm going to make. So which dress I'm going to make and which blouse I'm going to partner with it. And also which fabrics I'm going to choose. Um, if you can guess or if you want to guess, please comment below or contact me via Instagram at my social thread. I will of course be posting um, my make on the 30th of April under the so Frugal 22 hashtag. Um, I hope you enjoy that again um, and thank you for watching bye bye